Hello everyone. Today I will be trying out some new products from Artix as well as Paul Rubens. I have a set of Artix 30 paint pens as well as some Paul Rubens 26 oil pastels. This is the Pop Vivid Color oil pastels I'll be trying out. And so I'm going to be unboxing these and trying these with you today. They're going to be having some contests, some giveaways, having anniversary sale. They're going to be having some discounts on some products and up to 30% discount. So I'm going to link their Instagram account uh, in the description box and you can check that out if you're interested in any of that. Let's get started opening these Arctic acrylic marker set first because that's what truly I'm most excited about because I absolutely love the previous set. And this is a set of 30 colors. They are water-based and they have a brush tip. First, I wanna show you all of the beautiful colors. This, this is when I received them a few weeks ago and I really like to unbox them and show them while they're pretty. Um, so I apologize, my nails weren't done yet, but I was just so excited I had to get in that box and open them up and try them. I had to get them in my color order. <laughs> I had to have my brown by the black and I have to have the purples by the purple, that kind of thing. Weirdness. Um, so I'm going to show you all of these beautiful colors. Look at these gorgeous pastel colors. Are they not beautiful? There's also some skin tones as well as some greens that are kind of muted and they did a really good job, I think, picking the colors. All right. So let's take a look at the actual marker itself. This is listed as a high adhesion marker. It actually performs a bit more like an acrylic marker. It's a larger brush tip. I'm going to swatch all of these out and show you the colors with just one layer. The best thing about these, of course, is there's still no shaking, no pumping, no smell. I mean, everything I hate about acrylic markers, and that's why I don't use them. <laughs> This, so this marker only has one brush end, but it's a larger brush. So it's perfect for painting and building. You can get a larger surface done easier. I found these pigments to be really creamy and I just really loved the color that you could get. Um, I also love that they're buildable and you can make them more opaque because after they dry, they dry and you can layer on top. Oh, I have a few artworks I'm gonna share so that you can actually see how the marker performs. Even uh, because they are, when they're wet, you can blend them and they can mix. But once they're dry, you can layer on top and they won't mix. So that is the biggest difference between this set and the previous set. Um, now the con would be if you really love the last set like I did, this set, you're not going to want to take a palette. I took ceramic palette with the previous set and I painted with it like gouache. You can't really do that with this set because they dry fast and once they dry, they're dry. <laughs> so um, yeah, but look at all the pretty colors. There's a nice range of blues. It's mostly pastel and skin tone and kind of muted colors. There is a brighter yellow and a brighter red and a bright purple. But other than that, it's pretty much pastels and some skin tones and some muted tones. And they have some really wonderful colors. So here I'm showing once they are dry, they don't go anywhere. They are very water resistant. I tried layering plenty of water to see if they would move, to see if I can get any of them to reactivate. I couldn't get any of them to reactivate, even the reds and the purples. And then over here, I'm going to do the neutrals as well. I still didn't get any. Once they're dry, they are really are water resistant. So that's nice. So the first artwork that I'm going to create is I wanted, I just got them and I wanted to play with them and see what they can do and see how they can blend. And so I'm going to do a little sunset here really quick in my Paul Rubens sketchbook. And this is hot press cotton paper. I think these are going to perform better on your paper that's hot press or not very absorbable because I found it did better with paper that kind of sits, that the product kind of sits on top. I don't think this is when um, you're gonna wanna use like your arches paper or anything like that personally. So I am just using, I, you can see I'm just putting it down and while it's still wet, you can blend it really nice. It's very creamy. And I really did feel like these were really creamy and just really blended really well. And then now I'm at the bottom, I'm going to add some purple 
and I'm just going to start blending. I did not pull up a reference photo for this because I really, I just really like to play when I get new products and I, so it makes me not make the best artwork because I don't plan, I don't draw first, I don't pull up a reference photo. I just wanna play. I'm like a little kid with a new toy. I just wanna get in there and I wanna play and see what the products can do and use my imagination. So I don't create the best artwork <laughs> um, <laughs> because I don't even know what I want to do. I don't have any, you know, I, I don't, I just didn't plan it at all. So I'm just winging it and I'm, um, my husband's in Arizona right now. So I'm thinking about Arizona and I used to love this. We lived in Arizona for about six years and I absolutely loved all the sunsets and everything. So I'm just um, trying to see how these markers blend and you can see when they're wet, they blend really well. You can get some nice mixes and everything when they're wet, but they do dry fairly fast. So you're going to want to you know, get to that pretty quick if you really want it to blend because once they're dry, then they don't blend anymore. So I think that's the main difference that in the, the two different markers is that these actually do dry and then once they dry, they're done. They're, <laughs> there's no going, there's no going back. Um, and that is more like acrylic markers. So I think people that love acrylic markers are going to really like that. Um, so here you can see I'm just using some different greens because I really, you know, I'm still just playing. I don't really know what exactly I want to do. <laughs> I just want to see how the greens mix and blend. And then I'm going to go in with some black and add a little bit of shadows. Again, just kind of testing to see how these blend and what kind of effects I can get. So the black was the juiciest of all of the markers and the black was only the black was actually the only one that splattered a bit when I would take the lid off. These lids are harder to press on than the previous set and so they're a little harder to take off. They're not, you know, extremely hard or anything, but they are a little bit harder than the previous set. But that will cap them really tight so they don't dry out. So that would be a good thing. <laughs> so, but a couple times I did notice my black marker was so juicy, it splattered just a little bit when I was taking the little lid off. So you wanna be careful and protect your work and do that on some scratch paper if you're using the black. <laughs> because I did get a little bit on my desk. You might, I don't know if it's gonna show or not. So, but that I didn't have any leaking. But you can layer more and get them more opaque. So that was really, really nice. You really get all the good parts about acrylic markers and none of the bad. So, um, and also I've been playing with these and they haven't dried out. <laughs> um, I have some other acrylic markers I've tried and I use them a few times and then they dry out. So here I'm dotting the white and it's not super opaque. This one I found easier to build and make more opaque white. And now I'm gonna go in with some black and just add a few more dots with the black. So I'm going to add a little bit of dots with the black and then you'll see me um, just finishing up this cactus. And there's a quick little sunset with the cactus painting. Um, and I'm no expert at landscapes, but these, these markers are gonna make me want to attempt more landscapes now. Okay, so now I thought these colors really, especially these coral colors were so pretty. And they made me think I want to draw some kind of like peonies, that kind of thing, because the color really inspired me. So I thought they would be the, between the peaches and the coral colors, it would be really pretty to try to do some more, some more kind of modern florals. And um, if you're new to my channel, I don't really know how to do modern florals, but they, I just really wanted to play with them and see what I could do. Again, this is just, this is how my brain thinks when I get new products. I just want to play like a kid in a candy store and just go in, not pull up a reference photo, not uh, draw anything first. You know, that would be too easy. <laughs> I just want to go in and see what they can do and really just play. 
And so, uh, but I thought it would be useful because then you can see exactly what I was seeing as how the product performs. To, because to me, that's how you can know um, what works and what doesn't and if it's gonna work for your artwork. So you can see I'm going in, I'm adding layers and it layers really well. If you want to blend it, it'll blend, but if you want it to lay on top, you can just let it dry a little. It'll lay on top even better. So, but I found them really easy to work with. I'm trying to think of some of the complaints I have and really the biggest one is I still want a lot more colors. <laughs> I still want at least 50 colors because they really are a lot of fun and I would really like to have some really dark and some really light um, and everything in between. <laughs> so I guess I'm just greedy and yeah, I always want more colors. But yeah, they're, lay they're layering really nice and I really, I don't know how to do florals yet, but I'm going to learn eventually. So I just keep um, playing and drawing some more and I think I'm going to skip ahead here because I'm going to start adding some yellow flowers to the side and I had taken a colored pencil underneath and these markers colored right over the colored pencil. Now one thing I noticed with these markers is if the it, um, just a light layer they're pretty matte but if you layer a few layers you can get a little bit of a shiny glaze. So depending on what look you want you can probably achieve that. So here I'm just going to go ahead and start filling in and adding a little greenery. Again, I had no rhyme or reason other than the oval. I really didn't, I really didn't have any plan or um, I was just playing and wanting to kind of make some kind of modern floral thing. So um, you'll see me change my mind a lot because I really just wanted to play with the colors and see about these pretty green colors. I thought they were really, I really love the colors they chose. I think these are gonna make really good uh, like florals for Christmas and that kind of thing. These markers are supposed to work well on many different objects like plastic and wood and of course a lot of people do rock paintings, that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna show, I painted on a mug in a little bit. It didn't, it didn't rub off. I also took a paintbrush with water and it didn't wipe off. So they really did make this formula where it will stick and adhere to whatever you're painting uh, even better. So you can see I'm just still kind of um, building my wreath and I, I'm not really liking this so I was just going to take it out but I just thought it was useful because you could see how you can blend and layer the colors. Just how fun it was. I think these will be a lot of fun to just paint doodles just doodle and draw so here I can't decide which green I want to come and that's what I wish this set would have had an orange and kind of like a chartreuse green um, but I think this set of markers is going to work really well with the previous set I think they'll actually work really well together I'm going to add a little bit of black on the inside which added really some I needed some contrast desperately. <laughs> this is about it on my first attempt at some modern uh, florals. So now I'm going to show you the mug that I painted. And it was just mostly out of curiosity to see if it rubbed off. And you can see there, I did press pretty hard. It didn't rub off. And then I will go into the center and I will add a bit more yellow. It didn't lift it. It didn't move what I had put on there the day before. I didn't show it on camera, but I had taken water brush and nothing came off. So I feel like I wouldn't sell that, but I felt like it adhered pretty well to that, to the coffee mug. So now we're going to show you just briefly compare those two sets because I thought most of you would want to know the difference. The original set ha was dual sided. So it had a fine nib and a brush nib. Um, also the brush nib is smaller on the previous set. So I really like that they made these two different colors so you won't get confused between which set is which. So then the second difference is it's a different formula inside. The first set that I love so much, I loved it because it performed like gouache. I could go in and I could, <laughs> before it was wet, and I could really use it like gouache. I could use water, I could blend the two colors together, um, very much like gouache. 
I, I don't know how else to say it. And that's what made me love them so much. I absolutely love them. And uh, here you'll see I'm using some water and it, they just blended together so beautifully. And I, I love that. So I didn't care that they didn't perform like acrylic markers. Um, so the second set, it is a different formula. You can see here, I did not wait very long and I went in with some water. I tried to do it right away and you can see it's already, some of it's already dried, okay? So it does dry faster and then it stays permanent. So now I'm gonna do a block again and I'm going to let that dry so I can show you afterwards how you layer on top. Um, so I'm showing you the old version, but here it is and I'm showing you again how you can take water on these swatches that are fully dried and they don't move and apparently I didn't realize I put in that <laughs> footage twice but now you really know they don't move and so now I'm going to show you how you can layer on top of the markers once you have dried it will layer completely it won't blend it won't budge it's it's set so you're locked and loaded and ready and then on the previous set, they were a little bit more transparent and you could reactivate the pigment from underneath. So that is the biggest difference. Honestly, I think they're gonna be great to use together. So I can't wait to do that. All right, now we're gonna take a look at the oil pastels. And this is a set of 26 and it's the Vivid Pop color selection. So it's a bit smaller of a color selection if you've been wanting to try some oil pastels. I am going to swatch all of these out. This set comes with a really pretty selection of colors and it's a much smaller footprint on your table. So it's easier to grab and play with than the big box. But I love having all the colors, but I do like having the smaller footprint on my desk. So that's going to be easier to reach for. So some of these colors were a little samey. You can see those two colors. One was a little bit more green and then one was more yellow. I had some really, really nice oranges, especially for fall. Um, some of the, this orange right here, look at that warm orange. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gonna be so pretty for some poppies. And then now we have some blues. This color right here is the only one I had trouble with. It's ultramarine, so I don't know if it's something about the pigment or what it is. I was able to use it in my painting. Just really, really pretty colors. And then look at this purple. Look at that. It's kind of a lilac color. That's the only one that I recognize as being new to what I had previously. I love it. Got another turquoise. I could use 12 of those turquoise colors, so I was excited to see that color again. And then this pretty kind of a lime green and then that looks black but it's actually a very dark brown oh here's that ultramarine and i'm showing you that this was the only one it was a little hard to blend for some reason so again i don't know if it's that pigment is harder or what the problem was but i was able to use it in my painting um but this is the ultramarine color and then i'm going to do just a little scene a little another sunset because I find sunsets are like your the, a really good go-to if you don't know what to do and they're a lot of fun they're fairly quick and easy and I think they're great for beginners and I'm still new to pastels and I really enjoy using these pastels I just still feel like I'm not very good at it yet but this is my meager attempt at <laughs> trying to use pastels because I do really love them and I want to get better. And so I'm just going in and I'm layering some blues and some purples. And then of course I had to use that beautiful lilac color because that is just the star of the show for this box. I think I'm really glad to have that. I'm using my finger to blend all that out. And then I really wanted to kind of get a streaky look. Uh, that's actually what I was going for. I kind of wanted to look like there was different colors you can see in the sunset. Um, you can use different things to blend. You can use a paper stump or some people like to use Q-tips. For today, I, I'm just living dangerously and using my fingers. <laughs> so, and then I would wipe it on a micro, microfiber cloth um, in between the colors. 
These are very creamy and so they blend really well. And the paper I'm using is actually meant for pastels. It's pretty, it's pretty smooth. You can also use it for colored pencils and it's just available from Amazon. But it's probably my favorite paper and I've been able to use any pastels on it. So I removed the tape and then this is what my finished sunset looks like. <laughs> You don't have to make perfect art to have fun and that's what I learned today. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.